Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Kitchen Counter Art Lessons. Um, today we're going to do a uh, uh, oil pastel um, tie-dye. Now I know we did this in some of our classes right before we went home over spring break. Um, but I figured it'd be fun to show it off. Oil pastels, if you don't have them, you can use uh, a crayon for this too. Um, oil pastels work a little bit better, but crayons will work fine too. So tie-dye is traditionally in a, a circle shape. So I am just scribbling. I'm pressing down to get some good color. You can go in any shape at all. I think when we did this at school, several kids did hearts or stars or they did the letter of their name. Whatever you do, you make a shape and then you do this zigzag back and forth right around that shape. Um, and you can do skinnier zigzags if you want. I tend to do wider ones. I like that purple and green together. You could pick a color scheme if you wanted to. I'm always pretty random. I just kind of go with whatever grabs my eye right then. Ooh, I like that color. I don't know if we have this color at school. Sea green. Luckily, my kids like art supplies, so I've been raiding their art supplies while we've been at home. Just keep going around. I've been doing some cool colors here. I need another warm color to kind of finish it out. Kind of balance it. Okay, here's a warm color. Wow. Okay, I thought this was red. It is not red. It is red orange. Uh, you do want to have like a school. We have messy paper. You want to have some messy paper around for this. I just use uh, scrap paper. Um, you can use. A lot of times, what I'll do for my kids is open up. A cereal box that we're not using anymore I just open up the seam of it and lay it out flat and that's a good messy paper for all sorts of things you can do that you can do newspaper um, wax paper I don't know what I want maybe this yellow not in love with this tie-dye. I don't know if I'd wear this one. It's not a good balance of, or maybe too much of a balance between warm and cool colors. But just wait, it'll be cool. And cool as in awesome. I think I need some pink in here. And like we talked about at school, for those of you that did this, I am putting the pink in as if it's still making a ring around there. I'm gonna put this over here in this corner. Okay, after you have that, Grab your eraser. Okay, 
Mine's got tape stuck to it. Any kind of uh, eraser will work. Don't try not to use one on the end of a pencil because then the next time someone goes to use that pencil, it's going to be colored in oil pastel. If you get a eraser, a chunk eraser, then then you'd be fine. So what you're going to do first, you're going to pull your eraser down through and that's going to sh stretch out those colors. See how it's smearing from the middle? What do you think, Rylan? I like it. I'm turning my paper and smearing, and sometimes your eraser gets a little gunky. You can just clean it off. And depending on how smeary you want it to be or how clear you want it to be, that would decide how, uh, how many times you go over it. Smeary. I don't even know if that's a word. Have you guys missed me making up words? I always make up words when I'm, I'm describing my art. Okay, isn't that cool? I definitely like it smeary. And it's, it's kind of messy, but it's cool. So that is another awesome little piece of art you can make right at your kitchen counter. Don't forget your messy paper so we don't anger our adults in our lives. Um, it's still kind of messy. You want to help clean up. Whenever you do art, offer to help clean up. All right. We will see you later.